Let's start with the Bengals. Okay. Currently in last place okay. in the AFC North. <laughs> Joe Burrow is still playing injured, okay? You got to remember this. He got injured in the preseason during training or during training camp mm-hmm. before the preseason and has just been playing every game not 100%. This is Techn- okay, technically, he is off the injury report this week, but this is what happened when he tweaked his calf in week two, and calves are tricky. If they lose a couple more games, you have to strongly consider sitting Joe Burrow and let him get 100% healthy. I know it's not what you want to hear because the Bengals have been in that Super Bowl conversation the last few years, but you got to take care of your main man who you just gave the biggest NFL contract in the history of the game. And who knows? You may get a a high draft pick if the team doesn't do well, build that offensive line, possibly another wide receiver because, you know, they have uh, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins who are going to be up next season, and I don't know if they're going to be able to keep both. So I'm going to say the Bengals, I am somewhat confident yeah impossible to not want to say right that you're yeah. confident because of it's the Bengals and, and it's joe burrow but man he does not look good yeah, he's injured he looks injured he, is. he looks it's like and and i can only that frustration is building the fact that jamar chase just after last I'm week open. that he t- i'm always i'm always open. open like that is frustration that is continuing he's not himself. to build up. he is not himself yeah. he cannot do the things that he can normally do because that they his are body, used to. Like, he can't move. Yeah. He can't move the way he should because he is playing injured. Yeah, I hate it, but I'm with you that, like, I'm not ready to say no confidence yet. Yeah. I'm not ready. But I think I'm thinking with my heart. Uh huh. So you're going to do <laughs> what you're, are you somewhat confident or are you, like, very confident? I am somewhat confident, but I still okay. think I'm thinking with my heart there. Okay. I think the answer is we should not be, but I know somewhat, somewhat because of who they are, what they've done. Yep. yep. Okay. Dale. Okay. Dale, dale. Let's move to the uh, AFC East. Okay. And the Jets. Okay. They lost the face of their franchise at Aaron Rodgers. Okay. It's nice to hear that he's spending five hours a day rehabbing, doing a lot of outside things to come back faster. He's saying all the right things. Zach Wilson also looked pretty good last Sunday against the Chiefs. Stats were better than Mahomes, but Mahomes had probably one of his worst games mm-hmm. that he's had. Um, but it's hard because their whole season was built around Aaron Rodgers. And if Zach Wilson can't consistently perform like he did on on Sunday last week, uh, I I am not confident in the Jets. If he can have another good performance, maybe this weekend against Denver, against one of the worst defenses in the league, then we can have a different conversation of where my confidence level is at. But I am I am not confident with the Jets. So you know what's funny? Out of the nine, I have the most confidence what? in the Jets. I do. I think they can sneak in and get that last wild card spot. If you look at their schedule, yeah. they they could win seven games that are left in their schedule, maybe even eight if you look at it. With Zach Wilson? Yeah, with Zach Wilson. And, I mean, again, maybe I'm thinking with my heart here. But Definitely. The- <laughs> defense, defense wins games, right? And so I've mentioned – All Zach has to do is just manage the game. We have seen, I mean, like Joe Flacco took the Ravens to a Super Bowl. Joe Flacco, who's nothing, he's not a top anything, 10 quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's happened. Defense wins games. The reason I have confidence in them is because at this Chiefs game, I saw that they still believe in Zach Wilson. After he fumbled that snap, they looked over to the sideline. It looked like Zach Wilson was going to cry. He felt like it was his fault. And you saw everybody kind of... It's okay, dude. You have to because if he loses that belief and that doubt, you're out. Well, there's a team that we're going to talk about that I think their belief is out. And that's why I think that's a big part of why I think I have the most confidence in this team to Mm -hmm. still be able to do something. They still believe in him. And you're right. That's what you have to do. Yeah. But there's some teams that I think their belief is out the window. And once that happens, you're screwed. Let's talk about that team. I think if, if we're talking uh, about we the talking? same team, the uh, the AFC West, the Denver Broncos. No, I was not talking about them. Oh, okay. But okay, yeah, I was not talking. But okay, okay, all right. Let's go. With, let's go. With um, the Broncos. It's who the Jets are facing this weekend. So nice little back to back. Um, I'm somewhat confident in the Broncos. I, it's weird to like once you get the numbers in front of your face yeah. to realize that Russell Wilson is not playing bad. I know he is one of the best first half quarterbacks. He's got the best passer rating in the first half. 
six touchdowns with zero interceptions in the first half and best completion percentage in the first half. Now, the whole game, put it all together, third in passer rating, he's nine touchdowns, two interceptions, and 16th in completion percentage. So, again, it's a tale of two quarterbacks in the first and the second half, but it's going to come down to their defense. Can they get it together? They're last in points allowed, last in yards allowed. That 50-point loss, the Dolphins really uh, screwed the whole team there. But it's – it's if if they can figure out, if, if Russell Wills can figure out how to be that first-half quarterback through the entire game, I would be somewhat confident. I am with you. I'm, I think I'm somewhat confident. I haven't completely given up. From the beginning, I was like, there's moments where Russell Wilson looks good. Yeah. But there are other parts on that team that they're still figuring out. Mm-hmm. Could they figure it out on time? That is the question. Mm. So I'm with you. Somewhat confident just because we're only in week five. Yeah. Now, if this was, you know, week eight, I don't know. But because it's only week five, I have not lost all confidence. Okay. In the Broncos. Okay. Let's move on to the Vikings. Mm. I'm confident. I mean, how can I think you I, not be? I think I'm blinded. I am I so <laughs> blinded by Kirk Cousins. I know. You're not the only one. And the Netflix series yeah, no. and just his dedication and what he does. But when you have Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson, you, you have to have some hope. Yeah. Right? This team went on a seven-game winning streak last season, and I hate it. It's, it's a different team. It's a different year. But with their schedule, it can really go either way. They have a couple tough ones coming up, but then the schedule gets – Gets lighter. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Chiefs this weekend. That's going to be tough. Bears following. They should win that one. 49ers after that. It's going to be tough. But then it gets a little lighter. Yeah. I I'm feeling confident in the Vikings. 100. percent They're probably not going to win the NFC North because it's probably Dan Campbell is not going to let the Lions. No, no, no. Lions but are looking great. Packers li- are also they're two and two. Uh, but, but they're not. I I don't believe in the Packers to be honest with you. I I, I think that's it's a very like I don't know which Packers team I'm going to get. So I'm with you. I I think the Vikings. Should feel confident. I think they can. They can sneak in there. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, oh. in the in the. I think Snap. they can sneak in there. Yeah. Snap. Yeah. Okay. I'm into it. All right. I'm into it. Let's move to the Patriots. Mama. <laughs> I'm somewhat confident in the Patriots. <laughs> You're shaking your head at me. <laughs> uh, I, I went back and forth between like somewhat and not confident. Sure. I mean, their one win came against the Jets. It was not a dominant win, and. Uh, I mean, Bill Belichick will go down as one of the greatest coaches of our generation, right? Has not been the same since Tom Brady left. This season, their defense is 10th in yards allowed, 21st in points allowed. The offense is 30th in points per game and 19th in yards per game. And Mac Jones is not having a great season. As I'm saying this out loud, it's like, why do you have any confidence in them, Alex? (laughs) Mac Jones not having a great season, 23rd in completion percentage, 25th in passer rating, they just got an offensive coordinator for Mac Jones this year. But we're getting reports that him and Bill, Mac Jones and Bill Belichick are just not on the same page. And it looks that way. And this is strictly like an eye test. Watching Mac Jones, watching the Patriots, it doesn't look pretty. At all, there have not been. You know how, like I said, I'm like maybe Russell I Wilson, changed to maybe I changed to not it's just confident. Because you like as yourself. I literally just you like literally, as I was saying yeah. it out loud, I'm like, Curry, what are you doing? You you changed. You're not your mind. you're not confident. Yeah, in no, the you're Patriots. not. But it's hard because Bill Belichick is of such course. a legendary coach, and you think, but honestly, but when you're not gelling with your quarterback and you don't and you can't figure it out, and it's just been it hasn't looked good on or off the field. I mean, there were like off season reports that he was upset when Mac was going outside of the program to get some quarterback training like it's just not it's not clicking and I have not seen like I just have been saying Russell Wilson has these moments that I see I have not seen a moment for the Patriots yet with Mac Jones with Mac Jones okay you get him like I haven't seen it y'all yeah so that that's why I don't I don't have confidence and I hate that because you're right yeah Bill Belichick how you know when you have a coach like that you always have confidence I I don't okay let's move on to the Bears the Bears. Coming off a fun first win. I think it was a big morale booster. I'm happy for Justin Fields and Bears fans. It means a lot to them. But they had lost 14 straight games going back to last season until until that win. I don't think this means the Bears are back, but we did get a glimpse of what Justin Fields can be. 
And that is where my little bit of confidence comes from. So I'm going to say I am somewhat confident in the Bears. Ugh. No? I, 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 I think they have a lot of work to do. Oh, definitely. They have a lot of work to do. So, like, I, I don't have much confidence. I, I know Justin. I'm happy for them and yeah. that win. They needed it. I just, I, I think it yeah. was a one-off win. Like, yeah. I, I don't I don't have confidence in the okay. Bears. Okay, then our I'm last sorry. our last three, I'm just going to flat out say I do not have confidence in our last three. So let's uh, let's breeze through these guys. <laughs> the Raiders. Yeah. They've had a history of dysfunction. Uh, not a good look seeing their owner, Mark Davis, yelling at fans. Yeah. I mean, Jimmy G reportedly has cleared protocol, uh, concussion protocol to play Monday night, but I just I don't feel comfortable. Com- it, it seems like a toxic work environment, right? Yeah. There's just too many, too many ways we can talk about Josh Jacobs, the contract yeah. issues going into the season, Chandler Jones. Like it's it just, just seems like a toxic work environment. Yeah, and I I don't think. Yep, no, mm-hmm. I'm with you. No okay. confidence. Giants, not That's confident. That's the one I was talking about. Daniel Jones is not the guy. Daniel he Jones had one good year. He got his money. Now it's a vis- It's a visible issue. It is a it is a visible issue. And then you have Saquon Barkley, who's questionable. They're playing the Dolphins this week, who got embarrassed in Buffalo, so you know they're due for a comeback game. I, yeah, this is not it for the Giants. Daniel Jones, like, I understand. I, I don't know what it's like to be offered all of this money, but yeah, you, you should have, like— Take the money and run. But, no, you—, you- you take a little less. Tom Brady was never the highest paid quarterback. Never. You take a little yeah, less but and you Jones surround never, yourself. Daniel Jones is never going to get this kind of money again. But I'm not asking you that you, you say no. No, but Tom me, Brady knows he's the best. He was he the GOAT. He knows he's great. You? He also had a wife who was making millions, hundreds of millions of dollars more than him. So he had the but luxury like, of not having to take assess that Assess yourself and say, if I take a little less, maybe you can put other weapons around me. But this is what I was talking about yeah. where – their their belief is gone. Brian Dable, the way he looked at him on the throwing, sideline, and throwing an iPad on the sideline. That that ham. right there yeah. is the problem. There, there's no faith. There's no. no belief. Not bad. You see it for Zach Wilson. Yeah. For for Brian Dable and Daniel Jones, I don't see it. I don't either. Bad. It's bad it's news. Bad, bad right. news bears. Our last one. Cardinals. Not confident. You don't have your franchise quarterback. We don't know when Kyler Murray's coming back. Plus, when he was healthy, things weren't great in the building anyway. And you also have the best college football quarterback, Caleb Williams, saying he would not enter the draft if you had the first pick. So can we Ouch. say confident for the future? Maybe not for this season. They have been competitive. Nobody expected them to do anything. Wait, you're like you're semi confident? No, not for this season. Okay. But can I say like for the All future? Right. Like like as a franchise? Nobody expected you to do anything without Kyler Murray, and you have been competitive through the first four weeks. Good for you. Okay. Now, so question, you're somewhat. You're the, somewhat confident. The question. What do you do with Kyler Murray? Well, you play him when he comes back. I don't know. Trade him? I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, he's not, uh, has not been a good fit yeah. in relationship in Arizona. Right. So I, I just think that there's that they have something to look forward to in the future. Not for this season. That's all. I think they've been competitive and I they've mean, shown us that. Yeah. I don't know. You literally have the number one, like projected number one draft pick saying he ain't, he ain't entering the draft if the Cardinals have the first pick. And right. that is. Dagger to the heart.